Street Fighter 6. So that was announced. I mean, we got us a short little teaser for it. You know, no gameplay, no nothing, just beef, beefy Ryu and uh and a uh, new new looking Luke. So you know, they're in the game. So, but we want to speak about how it made everybody feel, what we anticipating, and things like that. So we're gonna start it off with you, Mr. Game and Lil. What was your reaction to seeing it? You know what we already knew was gonna happen, but you know still. I mean, it was dope to see, man. Everybody was waiting on it. You know, me personally, I, I was looking for something along the lines of a Marvel Four, maybe, maybe CBS, you know, three, you know, something like that. But I mean, that's probably a pipe dream right now. Um, but it's definitely dope to see this. Um, I will say though that I was hyped. But I, I wasn't as hype as I've been like in recent times for like announcements like Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5. Um, mainly because it was like not really much to see. We just like went off of a, just a CG kind of teaser of like Ryu flexing and we seeing like muscle contractions. I'm like, is this where we're going? Is this, what, is this a selling point? Like just showing how fit Ryu is. <laughs> um, and then showing Luke, you know, it was actually really cool to see Luke like I guess in his his actual true final form because I mean I guess this is the game that he's supposed to be like one of the faces of so like this is a game he's debuting is as like one of the faces of the future of Street Fighter so it was cool to see him in this like you know the new I guess the RE engine that they're using for the graphics which did look pretty impressive uh his arm looked a little weird though with the whole like Popeye thing I think that uh like the, the exaggerated like anatomy is kind of weird when it comes to like the more realistic uh visuals but I think the way they, they're kind of melding them together a little bit. Um, but we'll just have to wait to see to like the gameplay or anything. But this is dope. Hopefully we can, you know, uh see something soon when the summertime comes, they show us some gameplay or something. Um, you know, everybody's talking about the logo. That's I'm not really gonna get into that. Um I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but it's you ugly. Know, <laughs> everybody was like, <laughs> Street Fighter got six unread messages. I thought that was really hilarious. Um but yeah, I you know, I just hope the game develops well. I hope that this game can like revitalize the series. There's been a lot of speculation about what certain things in the trailer meant, like the effects people are talking about, like, oh, that's a mechanic, could be focused, or maybe they're doing like uh combined mechanics from certain games. Um, it'll also be really cool to see like this new generation. Like we see Ryu got the whole got the beard now. That's his that's his default form, which makes sense. Like that should be his default form like, at this point. Um, he doesn't have the top of his gear on. He just got the, you know, shirt off and he just got the guns up ready to go. Um, so I, I'm ready to see like what other new characters they have that'll fight alongside like the legacy characters. You know, they might possibly have some new like female lead character that like you know face off against Chun Li or I'm, I'm ready to see Ken. You know, I want to see how Ken looks with all his flames and stuff going everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this, but I'm kind of holding judgment until I see more because. You can't really go off of a, a trailer, a teaser, and then like a logo. So until we can see some actual gameplay and stuff, and if the visuals that we saw are anything close to what the game will look like, we don't even really know what it'll look like. But, uh, you know, as we said before on the podcast, Big Lou, you know, he here, man. He's time to shine in Street Fighter Six, man. So you walk up to Ryu like, hey, man, you about to catch his work. So he must be pretty confident that Street Fighter Six is going to be good, but we'll have to wait and see. Bro, let's be yeah. real, man. We all want Adon for the B. We all want Adon for to be one of the main characters, bro. If we be real about it, I, I don't know about that. I'll, I'll let you uh, keep that take. <laughs> you know about it. You know about it. I will let that happen. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, it, it's interesting to see the the internet react to Street Fighter Six. The reactions, man, have been all over the place. For one, we have Logo Gate going on, where man, the reaction. I'm not gonna lie when i saw the logo i was like it's not the greatest thing in the world but i was like you know i mean it, it's whatever but man the when i went online and just saw everyone else's reaction to it, it's like everyone act like you know they got like it stabbed their child or something like i've never seen such pushback against like a video game logo it's i mean i'm not saying that it doesn't matter but it's just really interesting to see that like that's the thing that a lot of people started focusing on and then there's other stuff that people folk poked fun at in the trailer um ryu the, his look at his toes and everything. <laughs> oh man i i'm not gonna lie i did i like the teaser trailer but at the same time 
I would have liked if Capcom had showed us a little bit something more. Kind of like how uh, Arxis has done with, um, what Arxis did with Strive. When they first showed off Strive, they had gameplay with it. Heck, when they showed off uh, XR years ago, the first trailer had gameplay in it. So I think it would have been great if Capcom could have done something like that. But at the same time, uh, when I think about it, like a lot of uh, Capcom's reveals, like for the past couple of fighting games, NBCI and even Street Fighter V, when they first reveal um, gameplay, let's be honest, it looked kind of rough. NBCI definitely looked rough. I mean, NBCI was rough when it was complete. But uh, when Street Fighter V was revealed, a lot of the stuff that looked cool at that time ended up getting taken out of the game. So I don't know, maybe Capcom is seeing how people are responding to um, the teaser and maybe making some slight adjustments. I mean, it's one of those things where there's only so much you can do just because this game has been in development for years now. So anything that they have planned, they're not just gonna do like a 180 on it and like trash it or anything because they need to get this game out. I imagine it's gonna be out by maybe sometime around this year, uh, next year. Um, but yeah, overall, I can't really say much. I, I thought the tr teaser was good for what it was i mean it's a, like a lot of um video game teasers now when it's like the the first trailer for anything is like they show you pretty much like the concept of it and that's kind of it kind of like um at this past um game awards where they pretty much just had like a bunch of teaser trailers like very few of the games they revealed actually had any act any gameplay it was just title it's coming soon that's kind of it and that's pretty much what they did with street fighter 6 so hopefully we'll see some more um, this summer, like like actual gameplay and some stuff that will get people to like ease up off the memes. But since the only thing they gave us was this teaser trailer, you know, hey, people will poke fun of it until pretty much they're proven wrong that it's actually going to be a good game. So we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, when I saw the trailer, you know, I was a little hyped. You know, finally, you know, Street Fighter Six is announced. Uh, you know find out that you know they're using the re engine so you know people are saying that that's pretty much the the style of the game how it's going to look uh of course the logo you know i'm not really too much of a fan of it but you know it's they still have time to change it if, if it's you know if they feel that you know they got that much of backlash for it and they might change it but uh you know people were saying that they're trying to uh, get into the whole like esports look of it, and so that's probably why the the logo looks the way it does. Um, but but yeah, I'm kind of you know hyped to see what they have to show for in the summer. You know what they're gonna tell us more, and uh, probably a good reason that they don't have too much to show us now is because if you guys remember back when Ono was already working on Street Fighter 6 and you know he kind of uh, got the boot from Capcom and they didn't like uh, in testing what they had in Street Fighter 6 previously so they had to like scrap that and pretty much almost like start over so that's why they're kind of like you know not having too much to, to show right now but you know hopefully they uh, figured out you know a better uh, style and gameplay and whatnot and you know, hopefully uh, it turned things around because I guess the testers weren't happy with it. So so we'll, we'll have to see when uh, when come summer, summertime. So 